The LA Chargers quietly added Willis Patrick. No, not Patrick Willis. Willis Patrick from TCU, a massive offensive guard that was signed as an undrafted free agent that we have not spent a lot of time talking about. And as we prepare to get into training camp, we're looking at at players that you have, um, both from OTAs, mini camps, rookie mini camps. That 90 man roster is now set, ready to go into training camp where we'll go down to 53. So as we get into that, we take a look at this guy. And and plus we'll look at some position battles here in just a second. But Willis Patrick, 6'4, 340. Now, here's what's interesting about this guy. He red shirts at Angelo State and plays at Angelo State for three years. Then he goes and just doesn't do a whole lot. And then he goes to Jackson State, where he started all 11 games. They go 12 and 1 as a team, really good team. And then his senior season, he transfers to a big time program in TCU. So it's interesting because it's like, you know, Jackson State, Angelo State, like, what are we doing here? And then bang, he's right into TCU, plays, starts all 12 games at TCU at guard. It's like, oh, okay. Um, he, he was almost every offensive play as TCU scored 45 points and 520 yards of offense against Oklahoma. So it's really weird. You can see his honor, you know, kind of like things that he's accomplished. And like, well, what the heck, right? So if you go to his kind of breaking down the undrafted free agent class here, you can see, oh, it's not showing up. Um, oh, there we go. He, he's really interesting because he fits in with Jim Harbaugh. It's not p- popping up, but it, it, he fits in with Jim Harbaugh. He's huge. He's a guard that, again, the reason we b- brought up certain undrafted free agents is because there's certain positions that translate from undrafted free agent to possibly being a backup starter. Like interior offensive line is one of those. You've got the size. Now you get coached up technique wise, shift your body weight around with, with some off season programming. And you never know, right? Where like wide receiver is kind of tough because are you fast enough big enough strong enough all those things you kind of have to have all the measurables plus you need to be good at like the fundamentals where offensive guard you it might work running backs another one that we brought up a couple times so willis patrick is a massive offensive guard that we bring up just because jim harbaugh could use him in a way that you're like you're not really thinking about because in the past you haven't been run heavy, run first, make it happen. So keep an eye on him. Sorry that this uh, other website isn't pulling up, but here's another one that I, I wanted to just run through. And I think it's really interesting. It's position battles heading into training camp. Now, number one wide receiver. Now, this really doesn't matter. Like the, these three are going to be a big part of, of the offense. So we know that. So there's not... I mean, much to talk about there. We've we've talked a ton about about the wide receivers. We feel really good about that with DJ Chark being someone that's going to be just fine. Um, Lad McConkey, you've got Brendan Rice, Cornelius Johnson. I, I think the wide receiver thing is getting way overblown. They're going to be fine there. Uh, right tackle, you've got Joe Alt, of course. Pipkins, though, has been something that he's a really good player. But Joe Alt, let's go. All right, Gus Edwards, and then we've talked a lot about J.K. Dobbins, and so I wanted to stay here just for a second because Dobbins has just had bad luck, and and he's had injuries, and you're really hoping that he just puts it together because if Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins are your starting running backs, that's not bad, and you combine that with a really good offensive line, and Jim Harbaugh believes that he has a good offensive line, and, and that's what Jim Harbaugh is all about that he's, he just somehow finds a way to make every offensive line that he coaches just dominating. I mean, Michigan's last three years were un, unreal. Just, <laughs> just unreal would be how to say it. So those are, that's what we have to to look out for and, and see what the, the chargers do there. So again, if you're new to the channel, we're Detroit lions fans, but this channel is all about the chargers and uh, we followed Jim Harbaugh out to L.A. and excited to see what he can do. So remember, you've got 
you've got some undrafted free agents that we're going to keep an eye on, especially when training camp starts to see who goes where. Another thing that we're going to keep an eye on as we watch this this team is um, is the wide receiver room because we want to just that, that should be no problem. And then the secondary and just the I guess the defense as a whole because last year there's so many problems, so many big plays. It felt like the run defense wasn't good. And then when the run defense was there, the pass defense wasn't. And just playing complimentary football as a whole, but especially as a defense, really should be a good thing for the LA Chargers. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see all of you on the next one.